My mom got her teaching degree in the 60s. Back then, she had to do all of her homework on a typewriter, and when she had to do research for a paper, she had to walk into the library to read books there or check them out and bring them back to her room. She taught in the days when she entered her grades into a spiral bound grade book with pen and paper and her way of communicating with parents was either to call them on the phone or meet with them in person. Partway through her teaching career, the governor of South Dakota mandated that all the schools were going to have to update their technology and do things online. And all of the teachers would have to take classes and be certified in this new technology. Now I know it was really tough on my mom. I remember calling her and hearing the frustration in her voice. She still had to teach during the day and to take classes at night. And everything was new, everything was foreign. She felt like other people in the room already knew things that were being taught and she didn't. She got that idea when she looked at other people's screens and they were playing solitaire while she was concentrating intently on what the teacher was saying. But she persevered and she worked through it. And I was really proud of her when I heard she had, uh, when she told me that the superintendent used her website as an example to all the other teachers on a good way to do it. It kind of reminds me of today when a lot of us are learning new ways to do things. We're relying a lot more on technology. We're learning new ways to communicate, to work, to do school, even to worship. In fact, I got an email the other day from Luther Seminary telling me that when I take my classes online, my professors are going to communicate with me through Moodle. What? I have no idea what Moodle is, but I really, really hope that is the name of an owl. Moodle, bring my homework to Dr. Elton right away. So today, if you're one of those people who's feeling frustrated with all of the changes and everything new, let me leave you with some words of encouragement from Psalm 31 and Philippians 4.13. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord, for you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you.